Hey guys, this is Jonathan Henderson with Pressure Washing Marketing Pros and today I want to talk about how you need to stay vigilant when it comes to checking your Google Business profile to make sure that your map pin has not been moved. So what am I talking about with this? Well, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my old friends right here, a good front window cleaning and pressure washing to help them out and get their actual location back to where it needs to be at. So if I look right here guys, this is their address, right? Highlands Ranch, you know, out here. So I'll search that exact address right here, right? And so as you can see, it doesn't really have him listed right there. And if you look at it, this is where the business is located. You know what I mean? Right here in Highlands Ranch, Metro Denver area, right? Now, if I type in his business, right, it shows all the way up here in Fort Collins, right? And so that means that somebody moved his map pin all the way from Highlands Ranch in this area, all the way to Fort Collins. Now, what is that gonna do, guys? That's going to affect his ranking ability, and it's gonna affect his ability to go ahead and rank. And how do people do that? Well, people simply do that by just clicking the Suggest and Edit, Change Name of Business, and what they do is they edit the map location right here. Right now, I don't know why my stuff's not loading up, but the map will load up, and I'm gonna be able to go ahead and move this pin to wherever I choose right and then they go ahead and save that and guess what ends up happening your map pin ends up being somewhere else and so that's why you have to make sure even though his address is stating that he's in highlands ranch it's actually not showing that he's in that area and also what you're going to be able to is, is you're going to be able to see this plus code and this plus code right here on his google business profile says that he's in fort collins colorado even though if we look right here this address i'm about to copy on here and I'm about to put in here, clearly says that that is right here, right? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what you need to do to go ahead and get this fixed. Because I had somebody reach out to me today as well, and what they ended up doing is they just ended up changing their address or re-verifying their address, and guess what that did? It triggered re-verification for the Google Business Profile, and then it got suspended. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this without it triggering re-verification and without it getting suspended as well. And so what you're gonna go ahead and do is, is right now, make sure that you're in a Google profile, right? Make sure that you're in a Google profile right now that is not associated with your Google business profile at all, right? You don't wanna have any association with it. And so I will emphasize this again, guys, make sure that you choose a Google business profile that has no association with your Google business profile, right? So make sure you're logged into a Google account that has no association with your Google business profile. Next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna suggest an edit. You're gonna go change name, whatever. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the address right here, then you're gonna click on this again. What that will go ahead and do is it will resubmit your actual Google business profile location at this point. So what it's gonna go ahead and do is, if I look at this right now, it's back to where it needs to be at. You know, as you can see, Postino Highlands Ranch, whatever it may be, it's back to where it needs to be in Highlands Ranch. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll submit this, right? And so I'll say thanks for your feedback and it's gonna go ahead and wait for my suggestion. So what I'll do is I'll just refresh this page, right? And I'll do it, I'll do it again because it seems like it didn't do that. So I'll go ahead, I'll edit the map location. Well, I'll just go ahead and no, I'll click this, I'll do that and I'll save it and I'll submit it. So it says your response helps improve this. So I'll press done again, right? Now I can go to my email now and I can see if Google Business emails me. So it didn't email me yet. So I'll go ahead and wait for that. So as I was waiting for that, guys, guess what email I got? I got the email that says publish. Your edit to a good front window cleaning and pressure washing was published, right? So then I can go ahead and see the change. Now what it's gonna go ahead and do is it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to populate, right? It's gonna probably give it, as you can see right here, it's gonna say give it 24 to 48 hours, right? So we'll give it up to 24 hours. And so we'll go ahead and wait 24 hours, but I know that this is gonna go ahead and go through. And so give it 24 to 48 hours, and once you go ahead and publish that, give it, and like I said once again, give it, to, give it 24 to 48 hours, and it'll repopulate what your business actually needs to be. And so let me just see if it does it right now. So as you can see right now, guys, 
He's still in Fort Collins, but it should be changing here soon. So, well, you know, I'd have to wait 24 to 48 hours, but I know it will change during that time, as you can see, um, for it to appear on Google the way that it originally was. So that is what you guys need to go ahead and do whenever you see that your map pin has been moved for your Google business profile. Unfortunately for this client, I don't know how long, or not client, because he's not a client of mine, but unfortunately, I don't know how long that his business has been like this because he's probably losing out on a lot of leads. Because what are the ramifications of that, guys? Well, guess what? If I'm in Fort Collins, I might just go ahead and type in window cleaning Fort Collins, right? And since none of his content on his website is geared towards Fort Collins, he may not even show up in the map pack, right? He may not even show up in the map pack even though his pin is there. He might though. So as you can see right here, he doesn't even show up in the map pack right here in Fort Collins. So a good front. So he's all the way down here. You know what I mean? He's all the way down here right now. So, and why is that? Well, because he has no relevancy on his website. But as you guys can see right now, it looks like it's starting to accept it back in Denver. So that's actually a good thing. So if I go ahead and refresh this again, well, you see it's still taking some time. But when I look on here, you guys can see that his map pin right now has been actually updated. And so it's right here back to where it needs to be at. And so that's a good thing. So right now Google's glitching out a little bit, but this is how you go ahead and you fix your map, right? You fix your map pin. And so if you guys have any questions, concerns, thoughts, or comments, or you need help with this and getting your map pin, then go ahead and comment below. Me and my team will help you guys out and we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll, we'll suggest the edit and we'll move your business to where it needs to go ahead and be at. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. Once again, subscribe if you guys want more information just like this when it comes to the pressure washing marketing. And also, like I said, comment below if you want us to go ahead and fix your map pin as well. But thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.